Welcome back. Today I'm going to be showing you a few ways to balance lawnmower blades. Firstly, why do you need to balance a lawnmower blade? Well, for the simple reason that I think that spins on a shaft I think with a bit of weight to it. If it's severely heavy on one end, it's going to cause a lot of vibrations and you don't want vibrations. It's going to be bad for your engine components, bearings, spindles etc and it's also going to cause vibrations up through the handles and into your arms and stuff so it's always good to get lawnmower blades balanced even from new it's good to check the balance of them I'm just going to go over a few ways a few of the common ways so first thing to do with your blade is get it clean all this grass and build up that's just going to into your method of balancing it's going to throw the weight off so get that all cleaned up to start with I just use a little scraper and just scrape it all off you can use a wire brush or a metal metal um, bristles on the on the drill stuff like that but you don't want to be taking any metal off this you just want to be taking the grass and all the, the rubbish off so yeah get your your blades all scraped off and as clean as you can that's the first step and just try and do as good a job as you can one reason I like this, it doesn't, you're not using power tools, wasting electricity, which is uh, something you don't want to be doing at the moment, and it doesn't create any dust or whatever. It'd be nice if I had a nice extraction wire wheel unit, but uh, I'm fine doing it like this for the time being. So yeah, just go over your blade, get it all cleaned off as best you can, and you'll have a lot better results when you come to balance it and obviously give it a sharpen if it needs sharpening sharpen it before you before you try and balance it obviously I'm not going to show you how to do that today because I've got a video coming out on how I sharpen blades which uh, should be worth a good watch I don't see many people doing it the way I do it put it that way <laughs> right so the first method of Balancing lawnmower blade is a simple nail that you hammer into the side of a bench. And then what you simply do then is let's get this one. Hang your blade on it, try and get it as central as you can obviously. And try and keep the nail, um, you know, horizontal, and then see if it hangs down one way or the other. So, as you can see, this one that end is heavy. With regards to nail size, I've found thinner nails work better. These thick nails. Let's do one here. Don't tend to work as well. And again, it's less less play on this one. Whereas if you remember with the little small nail, this one was a lot more. So it does vary. And this is not obviously this is not an accurate way, but it's it's a rough gauge anyway, put it that way. Let's 
some blades just don't hang on very well at all, so it's hard work. But yeah, what you're doing is seeing if one end's heavier, and obviously if this end is heavier, you need to grind the material off, make it lighter to even it out. So that when your blade's spinning on your mower, it's uh, spinning nice and balanced and not creating vibrations, etc. Right, the next option is one of these cheap little balancing tools that you can buy. Again, they're relatively cheap. Pick them up Amazon, eBay, all those kind of places, or your local mower shop should have them. And what you do with these is you put your blade on, try and get it on a level surface. So get it on a level surface and then see how it's sitting before you put the blade on. So if it's a bit like that, then it's not quite level surface and the accuracy of these aren't great either. The uh, points aren't perfect. Again, they're only cheap tools, but yeah, you'll see if it's uh, if it's not sitting level because you'll have a it will sit like that. So yeah, put it on and then get your eye down and check the gap if you know what I mean. Check the gap sequel there to it is there. Just by eye, you don't need to go go crazy. So then, what you do is you. Get your blade off or your blade up onto it and hopefully you've got one that actually fits correctly because you see the play in that let's try this under one again that doesn't fit on any of them which is a pain. So it's some blades. It's it's a nightmare with these little things. Whether they do different ones for different makes, but I've got loads of different blades. So for me, it's a bit of a nightmare. Again, that's the tolerances there are not good. So yeah, anyway, get on a level surface, get your little blade on, try and centralise it best you can, and then have a look. Have a look, don't just look at the blade, look at the distances on the bottom, you'll, you'll, you'll notice it more on the, on the gaps at the bottom, so this one's heavy this end and just to double check flip it round so the heavy ends the other side and just check it does the same thing which it's slightly doing I want a better fit It's relatively level. Get your blade on. And that's a pretty obvious one, that one. And again, just offer it up the other side just to double check. Yeah. And again, if it's if it's leaning down one end, grind some more off the off the edge. And then recheck it. And you want it obviously as level as possible with all these things, with all these options with the nail, get them as best as you can get it. So now we have this uh, proper blade balancer. Picked this up last year and it's uh, been really good, a lot accurate, a lot more accurate. So what you do 
Obviously these are magnets. So you put the center of your blade on the on the cone. So the light's a bit rubbish and then bring the magnet to it. And obviously try and start it off horizontal. As we can see, probably can't see because of the camera angle, but that's horizontal. So this end here is slightly heavy. So we've got the one we did the others, the nail and the little balancer. Let's see what this one does. Again, put it on. Bring the magnets up to it. And yeah, that's a definite sign there. And just peel it off. And try and, if you can as well, line these magnets up. So if you're putting it on that way, try and get four of the magnets equally spaced. Because sometimes I feel like these magnets can uh, alter it slightly, but that's probably just me being OCD. What I look for in tolerances on these as well, anything that's there or thereabouts. I'm not too overly worried that getting it absolutely perfect. You know, if, it, if it's sitting pretty much horizontal I'm happy any sort of any worse than you know like this one it's slightly heavy this end but it's something you're probably not going to notice to be fair it's probably not going to cause that much vibration oh, it's dropping a bit but You know, you don't have to get a spirit level out and uh, <laughs> check it like that, but the better you get it, the better it will perform. Less vibration, etc. But uh, yeah, if, you know, if it's like that, or like that, get, get it sorted. And these, these are quite sensitive, these bearings in here, so. And with this, with this type as well, it's. Um, you should be getting it level when you mount it, get it level. You know, when you fix it to the wall. If you need, you know, get a spirit level and put it on the face of it and check. And all you need to do is just put some washers in the screws just to pack it out a bit either way, just to get it level. And try and get it level this way as well. And again, obviously if you've got lips on it, Put the lips so they're facing outwards. So you want as flat a face as possible towards the magnets with these. So offer it up to the cone and then bring your magnet towards it. And again, heavy end, so grind that. Another thing this option does as well, it checks if your blades are are bent or warped. If you see this here, you can adjust it and basically what you do is you bring this up. just so you're almost touching it and then spin it round and see where you are with the other blade if the other blades near it it should be pretty much identical it means your blades level obviously if you've got a massive gap and a difference then something's something's fishy with your blade Yeah, that one's good. I'd say anything worse than 5mm with these, 
consider getting getting a new one. They're all offer similar similar results. This is obviously the preferred method. It's going to be a lot more accurate than the balancer or the little nail in the inside of the bench. So there we go. That's uh, a few ways to get a blade balanced, lawnmower blade. You know, they're all going to be better than doing nothing, put it that way. So, you know, the nail's probably the cheapest for most people. Um, and they're all relatively, they're all going to relatively offer, you know, some kind of indication. They're not going to be that accurate. For, you know, to get accurate, you need to get to... Uh, one of those and that will give you the most accuracy to get these blades balanced and uh, performing optimally but yeah for you if you've only got one of these then uh, you know it's good enough if you don't want to spend the money on proper blade, uh, proper blade balancing tool but yeah stick around I'm gonna be showing you how I sharpen some of these blades getting a good edge on them that's coming very soon so yeah thanks for watching any comments just uh, let me know I'll always try and get back to everybody and uh, yeah like interacting with people and hearing other people's thoughts so if anyone's got any tips or bits of advice you know let me know